Hi, in this video, we will see how we can integrate with SAP to retrieve some data and we'll also create a bad job to trigger this retrieval. We can integrate our systems with SAP's trainings module for retrieving list of trainings. We'll also store these uh, trainings which are retrieved from SAP in our local database so these can be referred to in future. First of all, we'll create a local table in our application called courses. This is what we'll later on be using to you know create the records for the trainings we receive from SAP. So let's have a course name here. Now what we do next is create the integration with SAP by providing the connection details and also the password. Make sure the connection is successful. Uh, platform helps you to uh, explore the SAP modules and functionalities available in there. You can also straight away look for the particular module or the functions that are, are of your interest. In my case, this particular function is the one that I need. It actually returns me the list of available trainings. I can add a reference to it just by clicking, selecting it and you know, finishing it. Thereafter, this particular piece of logic, the SAP API, we have to call from a function. In this case, let me add one. Get trainings, trainings from SAP. We'll also create a local variable for storing these records in our courses table. Once this is there, we are able to trigger the call to SAP just by dragging and dropping this API that we have added earlier on. Now this particular API from SAP gives us a list of courses. Now we, for each of those uh, courses that we have in this list, right, we'll run a for loop on the output and based on each record, right, we'll assign the value to our courses variable by selecting it, which is the course name should be equals to the output from SAP, which is this field. This one has the course name. And thereafter, we'll use the pre-built CRUD operation in our table to create the course. And we'll pass the courses local variable that we had on the logic. And we just have to loop it through for all the records. We'll also make this table public so that other people can use it just by turning this setting to yes. Now what is left for us to do is uh, create a job. Maybe in a real project, you would be required to create a daily job uh, to synchronize this R tables data with SAP. We call these timers in our systems. Now this is where in the action, we can select the logic that we have created just now by doing this and we can schedule it to run, okay? You can pick up this. In my demo, let me just run it once when I publish the application. And that's it. Publish the application and wait for it to synchronize the table. Okay, let's check if the data is there. Switch to data, view data in our table, and we have the values. Thanks.